All right, this is the first ever video on the Thorns Gasomatic made in Switzerland and uh, printing down here says this is 10 micron gold plate. All right. Very, you know, the this is around, i tell you what, folks, this is a 60-year-old letter right here, okay? Almost excellent condition. Look how the case is made up here. I tell you, this is, uh, I don't think that the mechanisms on these older lighters, guys, are just something else. Especially this here. This is just, check this out. Look at the mechanism on that. See this here, little lever here? It's going to activate, it's going to turn this little valve right here. Send gas out through there's a brass tube goes up back in here and uh you got a gas tank there's what you do take it out take a little screw out here and there's a solid pin refill valve in there. Now, this lighter, uh, when I got it, it wasn't working. I mean, the mechanism up here was, okay? It just needed to clean the flint wheel a little bit. It had some residue on it. Uh, from what I gathered, the flints in them are about the size of a Dunhill roll gas flint. It takes the big ones. Okay, but I did put a smaller one in there, and you can see it seemed to work fine. Uh, anyway, and all that is mounts to is right here. This here little claw here just grabs this pin right here, and of course it's got some uh, in order to keep the cases perfectly aligned. It's got some tabs on both sides okay beautiful lighter stick it in there down excellent now, uh, you, uh, you can find these on eBay, but the guy that's selling them is out of Germany. He wants about like $300, $350 a piece for them. I wouldn't pay that much for one. All right. I mean, I mean, especially, you know, they're not guaranteed to work. So uh, why would you pay that kind of money for something like that? It's not going to work. There's just no sense in it. I'm going to set this aside inside this bag here. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and just go through this a little bit with you. This does require, this is, this ain't a lighter guys for the faint of heart, all right? Let's, I mean, I mean that mechanism's up there, you won't have to mess with that. There's where you're gonna have to mess with this all right chances are your sponge in here and everything's going to be plugged up seal is going to be dried up like they were in here uh the seal was so dry in inside this that it was just you know it broke trying to take the seal off put a new one on that tells you anything all right now you're looking at 60 year old seals now what they was using in the 1960s i don't know but at least today when i put new seals in it get this thing to work uh, the newer technology, the newer uh, composites, you know, materials that they use nowadays for uh, 
O-rings and seals. Well, you know, it's going to be a it's going to be a, a great improvement over whatever else that uh, you can find. Now, uh, let me uh, let me get my uh, tool out of here for this job here. I thought I got that out already. Did I lay it down here? No, I didn't. There it is. Now listen. When I first took this apart, there's no ring right in here. Okay. That just kind of helps seat that right up. It seats that. It seats this. And the solid, uh, the solid pin in here. Okay. What I did in order to get a, uh, in, in order to get, here's what I got here, guys. I bought this. All right, this is for like filling up, oh, I think your DuPont series type lighters. It, but to me, it'll, it, uh, it's a solid, it's for a solid pen because the pen, the, when you go to use this, the pin will actually sit here on center, you know, where you push it and butane will come out of here and fill it out around the pin. Now, this wouldn't fit in here exactly, okay, because this right here where it's thinner was the same size as this. I just got some uh, files and stuff and stuck this here in a drill and spun around, filed it down, sanded it down and whatnot until I got to where it'd work in this. Okay. Alright. Now, uh, I don't really think, let's see here. I don't really think I can, any fuel is going to come out of that now. I don't know if there's a back pressure valve on this or not, but there's actually, there's actually probably a full tank of gas in this. I think you can hear it. Uh, just in case you wonder on this here part here, I stuck a, a real small O-ring on the bottom right there and I stuck one of these on top of it and it seems to be just what I need for this job okay now the real small O-ring you can find and you don't worry about that but if you want uh, the seal that works on this it's going to be this one here okay X-ring is what they call them Got this old rings and more here in the States. Now as far as uh, as far as the seal you know what I mean. Let's see. I think it I think it was a six I think that's a seven millimeter seal. Something like this I used in the very back here. Okay. But, uh, you guys are just going to have to do your own measuring and get your own seals and stuff. I'll, you know, give you what I can, but, uh, but, uh, on this here, uh, I'm just going to kind of go through this. To give you a uh, an idea of what's going to be required here to uh, 
take that out of there. Give me a second here. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to have to dig this out. I'm going to dig this seal out here. No ring, I should say. It's no ring, no. But anyway, nevertheless, it's a seal. Yeah, it's about a seven millimeter O ring. Got a cord size of about 1.66. All right, gives you an idea. That's perfect for what I need it for, okay? Now, here's the, I don't know if you can see down in there. As you can see how that's got an Allen key. It takes an Allen key to get in there and then screw that. I'll tell you what, I made this here. Just particular for this job. See how I bored it out? Bored it out. So I can get past that pin down in there and use this. Now this fits, it fits perfectly. And uh, let's see what the size of that thing was. I'm going to give you the size of the key that I had to use for that. Because I only got one missing in my case. The size is 9 64 Okay. 964 Allen wrench. Okay. Now you you ain't gonna be able to, you're not gonna be able to just bore these out. Okay, folks, these are hardened. What you gotta do is is you gotta put this in a vise and you gotta heat this with a torch until it just glows a red hot orange. You know? And just let it cool off. What that does is takes the temper out of this where you can put a drill to it and drill it out. That's what I did. Okay. Now, I want to pull this out for you. I'm going to get gas coming out of here, so be patient with me here. I got to. Okay, now you're gonna now you're gonna see see how it's loosened. Uh, there's a there's a there's a, like a dual thread, except there's a gasket in between. So there's the thread on the bottom, uh, and there's a thread that holds this. So what you gotta do is is kind of get it started up here. There we go, like this. There's what we got. See that? Now once you drilled, once I drilled that, guys, I had to take a file, small file, and get the burrs off of here. But see how that just fits right in there? Just perfect, really. I mean, just, you, it's, you can't get any better than that. That's what you're going to have to make if you want to get your filler valve out of your Thorns Gasomatic. Uh, fill tank okay now all right now let me get my uh, spring now you should be able to see see there's a seal down in there all right the seal that was in there, I had to replace that seal. Don't ask me what size is on that. You guys just going to have to when you take it apart. Because uh, I'm not going to take that out. I got it in there perfect. And I want to leave it that way. But you guys, you're going to have to just uh, do the best you can. But uh, this, there's no way. Both these seals that I took out of these lighters, guys, you know, in here, uh, this particular seal here, it was hard. I, I couldn't pry it out. I had to basically break it, and it was hard to get out. Uh, 
uh, recommend you heating up uh, heating up your pick red hot on the end get down in there it was hard to get out all right all right now here this here little seal here it was so hard that when I went to take it off it actually just uh, broke I think you can see what we're dealing with here see what we got here now that just fits right over here all right and that just spring pressured up to seal off the gap around there and once you push down on that it just basically opens the cap up and uh, butane flows around the pin inside the tank so you can see what we got here see see what we got I recommend uh, just you know take your time guys on this okay because you don't want to burn this up because it'd be hard to modify this okay I mean I couldn't this is it's got the same size thread as a Calibri lighter like a uh, fill valve on a Calibri lighter but the Calibri lighter one is is I think a couple of millimeters uh, maybe one half, two millimeters in diameter larger, so it's not going to work. So anyway, this is what you got right here. So, uh, we'll stick the spring back on. Drop that down in the tank. Yeah, hold on a minute here. Actually, what I think I did before is just drop the yeah spring down in there. All right, and uh, making sure this is on right. That's good. Making sure we're good here. You can see how there's a little bit of recess for that platform on one edge. Compared to the, this is be the top right here, no recess. This is the side it goes in, okay? See, it looks like it's all bunched up, but let me tell you, it will fit down in there. You just might have to pry up on one side to get it in that in-between channel area there, so to speak, okay?
Let me look here real close. Now I gotta go down a little more here. Yeah, I take my little valve. Yeah. Get got my there we go. I think you can see that I got that going pretty good. fight this just you guys out there got these lighters maybe I can give you a little heads up wouldn't hurt you know you ain't, you know this here right here guys this this here little area right here this here is where you got usually these comes with a wrench and you turn this here for your flame adjustment because there is no external flame adjustment you got to break the case down and get your little wrench in there and do it but to be honest with you once you get this thing set it just seems to stay right where it's at uh, and also too you can see the angle right here this this little activation, this part here is the, actually the activation lever as far as uh, the valve goes itself. When you, this here turns, you can, if you watch this space here, this valve will come up. Okay, that releases gas up through here. Alright, I want to try to keep that in that position. That I'm at, cause that that is actually just about as good as you're gonna get. If you want, just scri scribe your little scribe there, but uh, that's where you want to be, right there. Okay, that's the position that you want to be. So, uh, let's get this here. Since I don't have that little wrench, this is what I use to take that off with. Usually it takes about eight turns. Alright. Now first thing we want to address is this little stopper see how that little stopper comes out about a half millimeter I think I used a millimeter and a half cutter cut one out of the appropriate thickness Buna sheet rubber and you can see how this works. See, folks, here? That turns. This stopper is what plugs the main hole down inside here. But if you look down in here, see what we got here? When this thing turns, Okay, this little valve area has uh, some recess on it that kind of just forces this valve up. I'm going to take that out as well. That's at about a 5 o'clock position, somewhere around there. There it is. I'm going to tell you something, folks. That didn't come out like that before. All right. Keep in mind, that didn't come out like that at all, matter of fact. Right down in there, should be able to see it, but there's a, a little bit of a wick that's hooked on some brass, okay? Don't even mess with that wick. 
The only thing down around that is a seal, an O-ring. Okay, and I think it's about a five millimeter OD and uh, probably about a point, 0 0.8 thickness O-ring. All right, let's see what I'm talking about here. See the hole in the middle? See the stopper? That's like that. But when this turns, this valve turns, see how it comes up? Little, see how it works? When it's down like this, that stopper seals that hole, plugs that hole right there. All right, now, Inside here, you know what? I'm not even going to take that out. That's a little metal spacer I had there. The inside here was where I got a, uh, a uh, I think it's a two and a half, a three millimeter. It's a two and a half or three millimeter uh, sponge. Okay, I stuck it down in there, and of course, the sponge I use have a hole in it. So I took a little bit of a cotton off Q-tip, plugged that hole up. And I actually took a little bit more cotton stuff down in there. Then, uh, see this here little brass piece? Now that little brass piece is a part that I had because, uh, uh, you know, uh, the gas just, I had to have something to, that when uh, this here, let's put it this way. Here, let's go here. Let me show you something. Remember I told you this here is a flame adjustment screw right here. When you turn this down, that pushes against this base right here. Pushes against that. Okay. And the bottom part there where the wick is and the brass. Well, when you're compressing that in, that pushes against this here little brass piece and compresses the sponge. All right, so you tighten that down and loosen it if you want a little bit higher flame. I recommend getting that flame right where you like it and leave it there. All right, now I'm going to tell you something. This, i tell you what I did, okay? This was... Think about it, folks. That old seal in there is hard, and and the sponge and everything in there was just sticking. This was stuck down inside here, okay? I mean, it was just stuck down in there. See how that comes out? It wasn't going to come out. And you can't get down in there and really grab a hold of anything without burgering it up because that looks, just looks like a piece of copper. Okay. So when you get something like that, what I usually do, is I get, I get my bottle of phosphoric acid, 85% concentration. Okay. And what I'll do is I stuck this, when I got to that point, I stuck this down in there around that and just let that set. What do you think, well, what do you do that for? Well, that eats up that gummy stuff and allows you to uh, uh, break free. Then uh, you let it sit a little bit and try to dig around it. And, uh, you know, see if you can kind of like take your little thing in here and and see if you can't, let me zoom in a little bit here guys, hold on a second. If you just kind of get around there, see if you can't dig around the edges a little bit there, move that and, and, uh, and while I'm doing that too, okay, while I'm doing that, I'll have butane in here after I let it set, well, after I let it set. I'll put butane in there and let that air kind of gas kind of help push that out. All right. 
Uh, I think the O-ring I used in there was, uh, let me look here real quick, okay? Got these out of AliExpress. I think this is one I used. 5.1 OD out of diameter with a 0 0.8 cord size. Okay? That's why you used uh, the fit on the inside of, around uh, around you can't even, I don't even think you can see the cord. Let's see if I got a flashlight in there. If, uh, maybe you can see it in there. Maybe you can. I don't know. But the O-rings sealed down in there. That's just a perfect fit too, guys. Okay, it's perfect. You gotta really, the cord size does make a difference, guys. And the reason I say that is because you get too thick, you might not be able to compress your sponge enough. If you get too thin, it might leak uh, around this base here. Okay? Basically what you want to do is you don't want no leaks around here. All right, that's why you don't even see any sealed or anything around here because all the gas is going to be coming through this hole here. All right, so uh, I'm going to put this back together here and uh, I'm going to hope that uh, everything goes in there as good as it did before. in there right now I'm going to fill, try to fill this back up see where we're at and I got this here and I had to put a couple seals around here try to keep the gas blow back minimum flame adjustment the only way I can tell stick it back in here and, and see this cover off. I'm going to grab me a Q-tip and uh, I'm going here and kind of clean this up a little bit here. This is uh, a 
a nice lighter. Very nice lighter. All right. See how I got little cases right here, just to kind of put it together there. And it should just snap back, just like that. Well, I got alcohol on there, guys, so let's take a, there we go. To me, that's a pretty good flame. Anyway, guy, thorns, gas -matic lighter. This is, uh, to me, guys, this is really impressive. Impressive for the mechanism, uh, uh, the quality of engineering. Uh, you know, I seen that mechanism in there, and I thought, I wonder how this is going to feel. And actually, it don't feel bad. It's got a little... It's got a little pressure on it, then it kind of snaps. It, it's it's just excellent. It's an excellent quality quality lighter that uh, I don't think anybody would uh, pipe smoker would be, regret having. It's it's nice. It really is. I'd say the mechanisms up in here is durable enough you wouldn't have to worry about ever having to fix it. I just don't recommend. Uh, one thing I didn't go over. I didn't go over how to put a flint in it. Okay. I think you can see the flint spring mechanism right there. Okay. I just got some with a little curved arm down in there and just brought that spring up and moved it over here to this side here and dropped the flint in there. And just push the spring back, okay? Yeah, it's not easy. Uh, it's, you know, my gas adjustments. But like I said, guys, you've seen it for yourself right there. It pretty much went back to the, you know, same gas adjustment that I had. So, you know, uh, and if you put original flint back in the size of a Dunhill roll gas, I'm saying you... You'll have plenty of flint, so anyway, a little video on the Thorns gas matic butane lighter. I hope this helps somebody out there. All right, guys.